hey guys welcome to your reading this is going to be an all signs reading so go to the timestamp sorry i'm trying to get the camera adjusted go to the timestamp uh for your sign sun moon or rising um in the description box if you resonate with the reading let me know in the comment section give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i have all in january 2022 predictions on my channel thank god um welcome to my channel if you're new my name is serena and i will be doing your all signs reading today we're gonna see about love and money and then i'm gonna put the cards together for probably like just an overall message probably get some oracle in there and that's about it not gonna be super extended but it's gonna be good so i'll see you guys at your reading and yeah i think that's it okay so we're gonna start with scorpio at 111 what's up scorpio how are you guys doing i hope you guys are well we're gonna see what's going on with you current energy love and money and then i'm going to get an overall message i think i'm gonna start right here i'm gonna use this anatomy tarot i did shuffle everything beforehand so love for scorpio Two of Swords in Reverse, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Cups in regards to love. Two of Swords in Reverse. I feel like you might not be, like, I feel like you might not even care about love right now, Scorpio. The Six of Cups in Reverse, you may have someone thinking about you, or you're thinking about someone possibly someone from the past just like thinking about memories with someone seven of cups in reverse i feel like you know what you want and <laughs> i don't think that's love right now but you know in regards to love i feel like you know who you are you know what you want and you're really looking for you know I don't, it's going to be different for everyone whether you want i don't know just like something serious or whatever it is that you want like you know for certain what it is and like i feel like in your current energy there's no one really cutting it for you so i feel like you're just chilling focused possibly just on yourself i feel like you have you know like there's like light-hearted energy here in regards to love like i feel like you're open to love but you're not really you know I don't feel like you're actively doing anything, you know, to like, I don't feel like you're really dating or talking to anyone. You're just kind of chilling, focus on yourself. I feel like you're just down for whatever <laughs> in regards to love. Okay. Let's see about your money though, Scorpio. Scorpio's money, the queen of pentacles, the wheel of fortune in reverse. and the star in reverse i do see the potential for money like it's in your reach and the sun is shining right now so i feel like money is definitely you know flowing in here in abundance for you i feel like the only like possible i'm getting this uh vision in my head of like a river you know how like a river flows right and sometimes like there's like a big rush and then in other parts of the river it's kind of like slow some some parts now i'm getting are kind of stagnant and not really moving i feel like the only like stagnation or slow parts that are in your money is like you you are creating this by your lack of faith and lack of consistency with the wheel of fortune in reverse it's like things are moving but they might not be like i feel like you could control the situation better you could have a more control over your finances whatever that means to you okay and with the star card in reverse it's like yes you are abundant you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles like 
you could be a businesswoman you are abundant you have things going for yourself but at the same time you are still trying to grow and the, if there is a lack of growth here i feel like it's because um there's a lack of faith there's a lack of vision you know you have to believe in yourself more i feel like scorpio um you know envision what it is that you do want make make the plans to achieve that goal or goals you need to be taking more initiative stepping more into this power role as the queen of pentacles and i'm sorry you can't really see the cards because there's a glare but um stepping more into this queen of pentacles role the color blue here is standing out to me uh, wearing blue or if you're able to like get like some type of blue crystal i feel like might help you but the color blue maybe you're just making like your screensaver blue or something like that i feel like in some way is going to help your aura and help your energy here so that's what i see for you scorpio i'm going to get a oracle card for you and that'll be it putting this all together i would say again here with the two of swords and the queen of pentacles it's like you know what you want and that's your that's your own financial stability freedom you want to look good you want to smell good you want to feel good you want to be that bitch okay this is uh earth energy here you could have capricorn taurus virgo in your chart but your utmost like priority right now is yourself taking care of yourself doing what makes you happy nurturing yourself cooking for yourself eating good going to the gym making sure you know your money is long and your hair is longer <laughs> money long hair long ass fat okay <laughs> with the six of cups and the wheel of fortune in reverse you could be thinking about past uh like past things that kind of didn't bear fruit uh you're being nostalgic about you know possible missed opportunities for lack of a better term term or how you could have possibly done things differently in the past and now you're taking you know inspired action but it's like you're in this wishy-washy kind of uh wishy-washy kind of perspective or mind frame that it's like you want to move forward you have this vision but at the same time you're lacking that that foundation that faith that trust okay you're lacking trust in the universe and the universe is asking you to trust you know the universe has your back trust the process here scorpio take time to breathe out everything is gonna be okay i needed to breathe there okay so just take time to breathe and you know awareness comes from the mo like such a simple thing that you can do but to live in daily awareness and to live mindfully is to be aware of your breath every second you know we breathe on auto autopilot but to have that conscious awareness of your breath can really bring you uh you know to such self-awareness uh self-actualization and realization that you may not have had before take time to breathe out disseminating moon okay and i feel like we are getting into that phase of the moon actually as well so in alignment here with that breathing out all right scorpio that's what i have for you thanks for watching and um you can watch your other placements if you'd like um if not i'll see you next time bye 9:15 with cancer what's up cancer how are you guys doing we're gonna get into this reading gotta kind of pick it up here a little bit but i don't want to cut if your message tends to be long then whatever i'll just have to deal with it but what's up cancer how are you guys doing we're gonna see about your love life and i'm also going to see about your money and then i'm going to kind of give an overall message so what can you tell me about cancer in regards to love and money please three cards for love 
for cancer. Scorpio had the same card in the same position. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here, but um, let me get your money card and then we'll... Scorpio also had the Queen of Pentacles, not in the same position, but anyway. Cancer, in regards to love, Six of Pentacles and the Sun in reverse. I feel like something is being highlighted in regards to how you treat people or how you want to be treated in a, in a relationship and like how people have treated you in the past, how you have treated people in the past. And I feel like you are coming to clarity in terms of love, like, um, you know, just how you want to be treated and uh, how you want your lover to treat you. And that's a beautiful thing to know what you want and um to be in that headspace so that's what i feel here for you cancer you know just uh clarity you're gaining clarity on um uh, what you want as far as intimacy with yourself and others in regards to money ten of swords so mm, something ended here Queen of Swords in reverse, you did not want this thing to end. And then the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's like there's like a halt. You're needing to tend to yourself here. What is being highlighted in regards to money? Like you're need to you're needing to nurture a certain situation. That situation being your money. So how can you nurture your money? You you could be a business woman and you're needing to nurture and tend to your you know your business. How can you make your business um, better here? Because I feel like something ended in regards to your money. Like it wasn't supposed to end. And now you're needing to kind of like tend to this garden that is your finances. I mean, I don't know what, what could have ended here. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, just, I'm getting, you need to pivot here, shift gears, let me know in the comment section if that makes sense to you. Um, I'm not trying to clarify any cards right now. Nothing is yet set in stone, so it's like, you know, things are still changing and evolving. Mutable moon, it's like you need to surrender to what is going on. If you're being asked to change um you know fluid fluidity needing to go with the flow here of whatever is happening for you nothing is yet set in stone so keep that in mind here cancer and that is what i have for you um let me put these together though real quick for like a general message the six of pentacles for the ten of swords it's like you got upset because of some certain type of business deal some like i feel like some business and transaction did not go how you wanted it to go you could have you know been in something that was shady you know for lack of a better term the sun in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse like really unsettling energy of something happened here with this six of pentacles it's like i don't i'm not going to clarify it but you know shady shit like something that went, be, went on behind your back here and you know like it's like you intuitively know or you have evidence and it's like it's like i'm gonna move on from the situation but i'm hurt i need to take care of myself i need a time out for myself here like that nothing is yet set in stone like even if things are a little bit like like wishy-washy for you things are very like scattered for you understand that it's happening for a reason you might not have the answer right now but in time like you will gain clarity of the situation taking care of yourself like taking a bath making food for yourself taking care of the nitty-gritty is going to help you 
you know, gain clarity and move forward out of this situation, Cancer. I hope that makes sense for you. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. You can check your uh, rising and moon sign, your other placements, okay? Bye, love you. 15, 12 for Pisces. What's up, Pisces? How are you guys doing? Let me clear this. It's Cancers. I feel like pulling one, out one of these cards for you, Pisces. Universal <clears throat> love messages. What's going on with Pisces? What can I tell them? Listening. You need to listen. Listen up here, Pisces. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> but listen to, to what your intuition is trying to tell you. You couldn't. Maybe your guides are going to speak to you through this reading right now. So, listening, listening. Be a good listener, Pisces. Maybe someone is, maybe your guides are trying to speak to you through, through people who are around you and you're needing to listen to them. All right, what's going on with Pisces? The love and money. Give me three cards for Pisces. Love. Okay, love. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and then give me three for uh pisces money please emperor okay love king of pentacles ten of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles for your love life Hmm. the ten of wands in reverse it's like hmm, you're making a return or you're like letting go of extra shit I feel like this is someone who wants to grow this is someone who wants to grow with you so earth energy here we also have fire energy with the ten of wands but mostly picking up on this earth energy for who the person might be okay i feel like it's someone who wants to grow with you I'm not sure if you're this king of pentacles here or if they are. I think this is you. This king of pentacles. So you're sitting here on your throne. Tending to your garden. Taking care of your business. And my food just got here. And I feel like someone is returning here with this Ten of Wands. It's like they're, I don't know, someone that you possibly may have like gone through a lot of shit with, you know, and they're, they're coming back. It's like, I don't want, I, I want to, I want to forgive the past. I want, I don't want to talk about the past, you know, let's, let's like make amends and I want to grow this relationship with you. I want to give you, you know, what you want i want to give you a baby <laughs> i want to give you love i want to give you know the world to you that's what i'm that's what i'm channeling here i feel like that's what this person might want to tell you here okay listen listen i want to grow with you so whoever this earth sign is wants a relationship with you and I feel like they know your worth and they're they're if this time around I feel like they're gonna treat you with respect if they didn't in the past and I feel like you know in the past they were doing the best with what they could at the time so that's that with love emperor knight of swords and five of wands for your money you are getting to the bag pisces you are sitting on your throne here again you're bossed up you're not worried about your love life your your it's not that you're not worried about your love life i feel like you are open to a lot i feel like you have a lot on your plate 
you're handing a lot you're able to juggle you know if if you're wanting to you know start a family you're able to do that but i feel like you're most i feel like you have a lot going on here there's a lot going on here next year this upcoming year could be very you know fruitful for you very like busy 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 I feel like your mind is on a thousand um uh, a mile a minute is that how you say but very i'm just getting like fast paced energy here in regards uh with money i feel like you're thinking about things you know multiple sources of income you're making investments or at least thinking about that you know you're planning you're plotting and planning here i do see abundance here uh for you whatever you're you know working towards i see it bearing a lot of fruit you know this is big boss energy it's like conquering the world here so whatever you want to do like do it and it's going to be successful you are going to you know even even at the top you're still going to have you know obstacles and there's still going to be, be people who are like possibly going to get in your way you're still going to need to learn all throughout your life like there's never a point in your life where it's like Oh, I get to relax and like not like I stop growing. I stop evolving. No, if you're here, you're always growing and evolving no matter where you're at. I'm just getting me to say that with that five of wands. Putting this all together though, um, emperor and the king of pentacles. I mean, that's boss status, baby. I feel like you're going, you know, like you're, you have a good head on your shoulders. You have a good foundation about you. Look at the bigger picture. If you're struggling to do your daily routine, I feel like um, what's going to help with that is like looking at the bigger picture, visualizing your life ahead, and that will help, you know, you get through the day. That will help you get through the hard days of being a king and an emperor, okay? Running the show, running the palace is hard, but you're going to get through it by looking at the bigger picture and knowing that there's a higher purpose to all of this. The Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, it's like persevering through. The hard times are over and I'm going towards my goals, my destiny, my dreams. Seven of Pentacles and Five of Wands. By any means, I'm going to grow and prosper, you know, with or without you step out of your comfort zone that's that north node energy going forward you might be uncomfortable right now you know you know growing pains but it's all for your best interest it's all for your look hold your vision fixed moon you know your your destiny is fixed nothing can come in between you and and why, why God made you. The thing, nothing can come between you and what you're made to do. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Love you. See you next time. Watch your rising and moon sign if you want. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. What's up, you guys? So, moving on to Capricorn. I'm gonna see what's going on with you in love. I'm gonna see what's going on with your money. And I'm gonna give you a general message combining the two. Can you tell me about the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? Oops. <clears throat> Capricorn in love. The Knight of Swords. I want to try this new way of shuffling. Can you tell me about Capricorn in love? I see people shuffling like this, but I don't think this is the way that like, I'm supposed to shuffle. And the cards just like fly out for them. No cards are flying out. cards flew out all right tell me about capricorn please in love. okay 
That's how I do it. Nine of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Pentacles. And love, someone... I feel like someone from the past is trying to talk to you, but you are in the future. Someone missed an opportunity with you. You bossed up. You are an Empress mode, Capricorn. It is your season. You're shining. You are abundant. You are looking good. You're smelling delicious. You are looking like a motherfucking snack. And people from your past are like, damn, who is that? <laughs> You like my little rhyme <clears throat> but in the nine of pentacles like you are abundant you're growing you're prosperous you're very vivacious you're vibrant you're attractive at this time look at that the six of cups in reverse someone from your past is thinking about you baby girl <laughs> um they could be an air sign <clears throat> oops what fell out the two of wands someone who is indecisive with you let's move on to your money though i think your money is going to be good if you're coming out here as the empress someone is thinking about possibly like having a family with you that past person capricorn's money <clears throat> In terms of money for you here, Capricorn, I feel like you are trying to align with, like, the highest order, what's in your best interest, you know. I feel like you're plotting and planning. You're, you're about to make a decision here that's going to be very prosperous for you. Like, it's game time. Whatever, if you're, if you're you know, um... If you're questioning on where should I go, what direction should I go in, you know, is this, it, am I headed in the right direction? Like you intuitively have so much information, you know the answers, you know what you should be doing, you know right from wrong. It's like, you know everything. I feel like have, getting, make sure you're getting a good night's rest because you're busy in the morning like you have places to be and people to see so i see like your money and career just being very active at this time um you making a serious decision here could be relocating you could be changing jobs um but it is going to be a, a like it this this decision that you make is going to be the right one and, and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you okay and maybe needing to leave somewhere or or someone behind might be you need to relocate <clears throat> capricorn okay so that's what i have for you let me get you an oracle card oracle for capricorn please luck is on your side new moon and sag energy all right love you guys check your rising and moon if you'd like <clears throat> and i'll see you next time all right moving on to taurus taurus love and money Taurus, love and money. What does Taurus have going on in regards to love? What does Taurus have going on in regards to love? Horses love life, please. We have the three of swords, the seven of pentacles, and the king of cups. In regards to love, I feel like um, something in your past has caused you to, you know, it's like, whoa, 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 Nelly. I like, whoa there, buddy. <laughs> like something shook you, caused you to take a moment to like self-reflect. And now you're you're coming up on top. Okay, you're coming up on top. You're coming up like 
I know who I am. I know what I want. I know this is emotional stability. And if you're like a male coming up as the king of cups, um, <clears throat> it's, I feel like, you know, as a male, like you guys for some reason are like, aren't really in tune with y'all's emotions. So to come up as the king of cups, if you are a male, like, you know, it's nice to have control of your emotions and to be in tune with your emotions. It's like you're tapping into your spirituality, your intuition, and from this place, you can move uh, uh, with and from authenticity. And, you know, ooh, that's gonna cause you to be very happy. I feel like you might, um, you know, if, some, if something has happened in the past where it's caused you to reflect, and I feel like you can go back and like forgive, apologize, and even reconcile if that's what you're wanting to do with that marriage. I feel like you're overwhelmed. <clears throat> you're 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 gaming this emotional stability. You're trying to check your emotions, and um, this is uh, you know sacral plexus energy. Orange, the color orange, could be could help you with your aura and your energy <clears throat> the devil the hierophant in reverse and the seven of swords for your money i feel like you're uh, obsessed with money and <clears throat> i'm supposed to be getting three cards but whatever obsessed with money or trapped in some certain situation that you're trying to get out of you're trying to you're trying to shift gears and get out of the situation that you're in right now in regards to money. That's what I feel. You're, you're trying to make a move here. The ball is in your court. The world is in your hands. You are the creator of your life. And a decision is needing to be made. You intuitively feel like you need to move forward. Some forward pro progression is needing to be like made here. <clears throat> it's like, let's grow and expand. Um, I'm moving away from you know the past. <clears throat> I've done a lot, I know a lot, and I'm wanting to, you know, grow and expand my career, my portfolio, etc, etc. Let's get an oracle card for you here. Oracle card for Taurus. And you are coming out here, Taurus, in your reading, so that's nice. You are good enough. <clears throat> you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo energy. You are good enough for everything, anything. Like, you're good enough to receive your abundance and anything that you desire. Take care of yourself, Taurus. All right, love you guys. I'm out of here. Check your rising and moon if you'd like. I do have January, your January, um, <laughs> your January predictions out on my channel. All right, moving on to Virgo. What's up, Virgo? How you doing? How you doing? <clears throat> I'm feeling the need to pull out one from here and one from here. <clears throat> we have Taurus and physical body. You could be dealing with the Taurus or you have Taurus placements, okay? And then physical body, you know, someone could be thinking about your physical body. You could be um, thinking about your body and coming into union with your body, how you look, how you feel, your hair. I feel like I'm picking up on something about your hair, taking care of your hair and your skin, your nails. You could have Taurus in your chart, if I already said that. With Taurus energy, we have a trust, patience, and sensuality, okay? So needing to trust the process, have patience with yourself and your journey. And you know, ooh, that sensuality is coming out here in physical body. You might be feeling more sensual, you know, sexy time, maybe scheduling some appointment here you know what i'm saying if you know what type of appointment i'm talking about all 
All right, what do we have for Virgo in love and money, please? What can you tell me about Virgo in love and money? Current energy for Virgo in love and money. King of Wands, Ten of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles for love. So I feel like for both, like as a general reading, you're needing to kind of like, you're, you're really assessing the situation. You're trying to get a solid foundation for yourself right now. Okay, the King of Wands. And the five of swords you're you're trying to do what's in your best interest you're trying to make some power plays here in regards to your finances I feel like you're trying to get out of your feelings and move towards the bag the money you might be trying to you know like distract yourself with money but not really distract yourself just focus on your stability like i said you're trying to become stable for yourself and your legacy in regards to love, the King of Wands, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo. Deep healing. Deep healing. I feel like with this King of Wands in, in connection to the physical body, like I feel like you've realized like fiery energy. Uh, the color red could like help you in your aura at this time or orange. But I feel like you've come into your sensuality here. Like, you know you look good. You know your worth. You know how attractive and powerful you are. You know that you are a magnet. And there's no sense in, you know, you're, 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 you know, we all are going through healing, right? Or we all are, are, are in different stages of our lives. But I feel like you, Virgo, you're healing right now. And you're also, you know, like, healing, but you're 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 on the grind you're on like this mission here of success and of like trying to be victorious or trying to move forward with your life like this ten of swords it's like i'm done with just everything and everyone that's not serving me i'm really focused on myself and my abundance that's what i see for you and this is coming out in your love love sector so it's like if you're not like adding it's subtracting and love and money here the five of swords in reverse the page of swords and the queen of cups in reverse i feel like in regards to money things have maybe been kind of like unsettling overwhelming and you may have had like a lot going on in regards to your career and money but i'm getting this feeling like things are going to get better for you this trust and patience is coming out here. Trusting the process, trusting the universe, being patient with, with your journey. We have the hanged man in reverse. It's like, I feel like you have control here to make, make shit move. The five of pentacles in reverse, it's getting out of that lack mentality. You're really changing your perspective and how you view the world, how you view love, how you view uh, money. Okay. Give me oracle card for Virgo, please. Current energy for Virgo. We have nothing will come of this situation void of course moon it's like this is that pivot skirt i'm not nope it's like a no but i'm gonna go here whatever that means for you All right so watch your rising and moon if you like i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye moving on to gemini what's up gems let me put these away. Whew. What's up, gems? 
let's see what's going on with you right now current energy in regards to your love life and your money and career okay let's see what's going on with gemini and their love life and their money and career please In regards to love, Gemini, the magician, the world, and the moon. Hmm. How do we go from the magician and to the world? We manifested something, we created something, and like, it was it. That's what's illuminated. This is like instant manifestation. If you're wanting to, this is all major. So whoever you're thinking about, if you have someone on your mind, I feel like they're of significance. And um, if someone's new, if someone new is coming into your life or you're thinking about someone new, I feel like you manifested someone new or whoever you manifested in the past, like they are of significance here. It's going to be different for everyone, but it's like you know, whatever question you have, you intuitively know the answer, whether, you know, it's a go or a no that's for you to decide but this very something's of significance here instant manifestation if you're trying to attract someone i feel like this energy like you can whatever you want you can attract it in regards to love so be careful what you wish for King of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Knight of Wands for your money. This is fire. <laughs> Literally fire. So be careful. Be careful that you're not spending too much money. I feel like if you do spend money, you're going to be like quick to make it back though. You're in this King of Wands energy. Very creative at this time. I feel like... Oh, whatever you're like stirring up, whatever you're creating, um, whatever you're thinking about doing at this time, I feel like it's going to grow at a rapid, very rapid pace. So be careful for what you're giving attention and time to because I feel like it's going to blow up. Whether you're, you know, focused on your career and finances or whatever you're doing, right? Whatever you're giving attention to is going to. bear fruit but i feel like with this nine of wands you are being very it's like you are being guarded in some aspect so understand that you do have to you know there's kind of like some stuck stale energy for some reason the ace of swords it's like because one thing didn't go correctly in terms of money and career you think that it's like you have this negative pessimistic attitude because that but that thing didn't happen or something like that look six of wands and page of cups but if you just give your energy to the right thing and and uh you know are just live authentically you you in your career and money you you're giving a hundred percent and you're being your pure authentic self i see you having great success in like there's people supporting you, you know, you're not all alone. So networking, team building, talking to other people is going to bring you success. And there's people that are like, have your back and that are backing you and your money and your career. That fire and desire here, a lot of fire energy. Like you're ready to move forward
be ready to move forward so always you know like keep that keep that same mentality keep that same drive like you're moving forward don't let anything stop you don't let one no stop stop you like the fortune is coming take control Oracle for Gemini. A new romantic cycle begins. Maybe. That's what's hidden here. That's what this wanted to say. I forgot what I was saying about that, but <laughs> a new romantic cycle begins, Gemini. That's what I have for you. I hope that shit made sense. That was kind of confusing. Um, I feel like. I don't know. But I'll see you guys next time. I have your January 2022 predictions up that people seem to like. My, like my best video on my channel yet. So if you want to check that out. Um, if not, I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. Okay, Libra. What's up, Libra? How you doing? We're gonna see what's going on with your love and money. We're gonna see what's going on in regards to your love and money. I'm gonna pull you some cards right here. Libra, golden memories. You could be thinking about someone in high regard. We have golden memories here. Or someone's thinking about you or mutual here. Nostalgic. Mercury. More head energy. Think, learn, network, and communicate. Okay, learning from, you know, some golden memories here. Looking back at it. Let's see what's going on with Libra and their love and money. Three cards for love. Three cards for money. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Okay, in regards to love, Libra, seven of wands, two of pentacles, and the five of swords in reverse for your love. Two of pentacles, juggling, seven of wands. Hmm. Seven of wands. Someone's wanting to fight. Block. Someone being blocked. Someone being, I mean, that's like consistency. You know, self mastery, the two of pentacles, juggling that. Hmm. Five of swords in reverse. Not wanting to fight. So, I feel like some someone, the seven of wands energy could be a fire sign. Someone might be thinking about you and like, but they're come like, I feel like in regards to love, if you're dealing with a fire sign, possibly like they're coming at you like strong, they're coming at you like they're like want to attack you, like they're like coming at you with like this aggressive energy, but like in their heart center, like they love you. And I feel like you're like, I'm not even going to entertain that. I'm focused on like my own mental health and my money and my beauty sleep like i'm focused on some other shit right now please don't bring any drama my way you know like this is someone that you could have a past with libra you're just like not wanting to have any drama you're wanting to like just let go of any type of mind games or games being played like you're not focused on that negative energy in regards to money libra page of pentacles okay new new venture three of pentacles and like 
Mm. You might get a new job offer. You might be starting a new job. You might be wanting to start a new job, but you're nervous about like how it's going to go. Okay. I do see if you're wanting to start something new or if you are in something new and you feel uncomfortable, like the people that you're working with, like love you, they admire you, you know, people do want to work with you. If you're thinking about starting something new, I see you coming into connection with, you know, the right job, the right people. So there's no need to feel uneasy or inadequate about anything new that you might be starting a Libra. Okay, we have this network and communicate, okay? Think outside of the box here. Something to do with golden memories though. Like if you're questioning something, I feel like thinking about the past in some aspect might help you out here. We have the two and three of pentacles for just a general reading. It's like, this is like taking that next step. You're, 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 you're trying to grow and evolve here. And I feel like there might be people like in your life that are bringing you that drama and no, like go away. They need to go away. <laughs> Do not let them in. Give me Oracle for Libra, please. Oracle for my Libras. We have nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. So be open to change. Understand that things are changing right now and like this these waves you're needing to like go with the flow, understand that there's high tide and low tide and you know just earn what's happening in your life right now and just go with it. Do not resist, okay? Love you guys so much. Watch your rising and moon if you like. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in your next reading. I have your January 2022 predictions on my channel if you're interested. Okay, Aquarius. What's up, Aquarius? How are you guys doing? So I'm going to see what's going on in your love life. I'm going to see what's going on in your money, your career, your finances. I'm going to try to give you a general message as well. All right, what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, money, and love, love, and money. Ooh. okay Aquarius so in regards to love we have the eight of swords in reverse the ten of wands and the three of swords Someone is trying to like let go, like you are trying to let go of someone or someone is trying to let go of you. My camera cut off, I'm sorry. I just realized that it cut off. Hopefully, I'm still in alignment with what the fuck I was just saying. But with this Four of Swords energy with your money, you know, you're thinking about where you want to go. You're thinking about forward direction. But it's like, I feel like your past is kind of holding you back here. The way that you feel about your 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 emotional connection to money is kind of holding you back from progression, if that makes sense. So looking into affirmations and just um tuning into more of an abundance mindset. Um, having a more of an open mind in regards to finances and money, I feel like will help you out here. Aquarius, okay? Tell me about Aquarius. We have emergence. And we have heaven on earth. So I feel like you're coming into your own skin here. You're realizing that, you know, shit can get better. And I want it to get better. And that's amazing. Like, that's that Four of Swords energy. Just 
resetting like reset button it's about to be a new year and you can create the life of your dreams don't let your past hold you back um keep going aquarius you got this and the end of a tough cycle approaches okay i love you guys i hope you enjoyed it um watch your rising and moon if you'd like i have your in january 2022 predictions on my channel i'll see you guys next time bye okay moving on to aries what's up aries i hope you guys are doing well start out with some oracle because why not oracle for aries please take time to breathe out and expect powerful change aries meditation like blue and purple energy here wearing blue or purple could help your aura and your energy meditation can help your aura and your energy things are shifting for you so let's see what's going on with aries in love give me three cards for aries in love please four of pentacles wanted to show his face And give me three for Aries in money. All right. Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool in reverse for love. Queen of Swords. Someone knows. Someone knows. <laughs> is it you? I don't know. Is it the person you're dealing with? I don't know. Someone knows that something is just going around in a circle and there's no, there's a lack of a new start here like possible false starts someone knows this so that's what i have for you and your love <laughs> and money the hierophant and the hermit in reverse and the knight of cups money you are trying to get to the money really though you're you're ready to make serious committed steps to like follow and chase your dreams and nothing is going to change this aries you like this is big emperor energy big dick energy nothing is going to change no 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 one is going to stop your hustle no one is going to stop you from your success that is the energy you have right now like you are have your eyes on the prize you're focused on your career your money your stability and it's just your time to take that inspired action i mean it was pretty straightforward here i'll put the cards together the queen of swords and the harfin someone knows what do they know that they need to take action because things are just going like you need to like i feel like you you've either been focused on yourself for a while and it's your time to come out of your shell i feel that like it's it's the perfect timing now is the time for you aries okay so that's what i have for you i love you check your rising and moon if you'd like and i'll see you next time bye sagittarius what's up sag Whew. let's see what's going on with you current energy for sag love and money Current energy for Sagittarius, love and money, please.
Okay, in regards to love, Sag, five of swords in reverse, you know, not wanting to, it's like we're both putting down the towel or throwing in the towel. I want growth and expansion. I want to love on you. I want success. I want babies. I want us to move forward. Okay, so I don't know if that's your energy or your person's energy. I feel like this is your energy. Like you're done playing games. You could have been some type of like player over here and you want the real deal. Whatever that means to you. You just want something that's going to make you happy. You're ready to grow and expand in terms of a love. So maybe you're dating more. Um, if you're looking for a date, I see that coming in your future. And I see whatever you're looking for, I see it happening in the future okay whatever you want i see it manifesting for you okay in terms of money the world in reverse the hierophant and the high priestess mm, there's something that you need to do in order for like your career to take that like next step there's something intuitively like that you need to do in order for you to level up whatever that means Maybe you need to learn a certain lesson right now with the current energy. Maybe there's something that you already know that's like, if I did this to my business, I know I would make more sales. Something like that. But you know what it is that you need to do to prosper, to succeed, to get what it is that you want in terms of money and finances. That's what I see here for you, Sagittarius. Making Something needs to change though. Push has come to shove. Surrender to the divine full moon energy for you. Sagittarius, please. Message from afar. Hmm. Someone, you might be getting a text message. Uh, a pigeon might be coming and delivering you a message. An email. And we have miracles when I cut the deck. Wow. Saggy. Expect miracle upon miracle to happen for you. Surrender to the divine and you will receive. Ask and it is given. I love that for you. See you. Bye. All right. Moving on to Leo. My beautiful Leos. What's up, girl? Boy? What's going on with Leo in love and money? What's going on with Leo in regards to love and money? Love and money for Leo. Oops, I forgot this card right here. What is it? The devil? Okay. No one wants to last anyway. Leo love. Leo love and money. Okay. Leo love the chariot. Someone making a decision to return to the empress. I don't know if you're the empress or you're thinking about making a return to your empress. It's pretty simple, plain as day message there, okay? Could be dealing with the Cantor, Libra, or Taurus. Money, ten of cups, happiness, seven of pentacles in reverse. And the Hierophant. You could be happy because your business is actually growing and expanding. Or you're going to be very happy soon because your business is going to grow and expand. Or in order for you to receive the happiness that you're, you're yearning for, you need to let go a little bit. Uh, so your business can have that space to breathe, that room to grow and expand. It's like... For example, me and my YouTube channel, I'm a new YouTube channel and I'm obsessed with like looking at how many views my video gets. 
that's not really serving me if i'm checking how many views my video gets every five seconds like the you like after i make a video and post it what's done is done whatever magic is gonna happen it's gonna happen like for me to keep looking at the video is not going to create more views with me you like that energy isn't serving do you see what i'm saying so it's like you're holding on to too tight to maybe this is giving me vibes of like a micromanager let your employees do the work let your money work for you you know let the universe do its thing okay because i see things wanting to come into alignment for you leo but you have to surrender to the divine oracle for leo a time to give rather than take virgo energy a time to give rather than take leo we got heaven on earth fear balance emergence and listening you're 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 moving from one place which is fear to another place of abundance and balance and harmony okay you're moving towards that white light. You're moving towards your heart's desires. Let go of the fear. There's nothing to fear. Listen to your heart. Listen to your universe. You know, surrender and believe in the impossible because anything is possible. You need to like let go and be kind of non-resistant here leo that's what i have for you though i love you so much and i'll see you next time bye